guys welcome back to my channel my name is beige if you are new here welcome don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below before you leave today's video is going to be a tutorial on this wig that was sent to me from my first wig i'll have all of their information the promo codes and direct yeah. links down below yeah. along with my box. wig i received a wig stand a wig cap a rat tail comb two hair clips fly away tamer, and their wig knot healer product so the wig that I'll be working with today is in the style Bella. I have Bella in 20 inches. She is Malaysian curly and she is a lace front wig. The cap construction includes three combs and an adjustable strap, as well as a removable elastic band. Bella was created using upgraded Swiss lace for a melted finish. The wig does come pre-plucked and the knots have already been bleached for us. So here's how Bella looks when you take her out of the package and place her straight onto your head. I love the texture of this hair. I love how soft and flowy these curls are. I like the fact that this is more of a loose wave and curl. So you are able to, of course, straighten it if you want to do a straighter hairstyle or you can define the curls. Today, we will be defining these beautiful curls and waves. One thing about this wig that I love is the fact that it's ready to be worn straight out of the package. However, I am going to pluck a little bit more of the hairs from the hairline just to give it a more custom appearance. So to do that, I'll be doing the beige method of zigzag plucking and parting for this step. you but I'm obsessed with this hairline I think it came out perfect now it's time to tint the lace so that it is a perfect color match for my complexion I did receive this product in my package which is their wig knots healer it's basically a foundation stick with a blending brush on the other side of it I'm going to flip the wig upside down so that I can have a great view of the lace then I'm going to take that foundation stick and basically just apply it to the under portion of that lace. Then I'm going to use that brush and just buff out that color, applying it evenly over the entire surface of the frontal. Now it's time to define the curls. I'll be grabbing small sections of hair, grabbing my detangling comb, I'm going to detangle through each section. Then grabbing a spray bottle of water, I'm going to fully saturate each section as I'm working on it. And then I'll be grabbing this curl defining mousse as well as my Denman brush to get these waves and curls to pop. The reason why I'm using a curl defining mousse is because I want this hair to be very bouncy and flowy. Sometimes when you use gel, it could cause the hair to be very stiff and uh, very crunchy. And I did not want that for this particular hairstyle because I do want to try like a bun.
Okay, so now it's time to install this wig. The wig is fully prepped, so now it's time to prep my hairline. The first thing that I'll be grabbing is 99% alcohol. I'm applying that to my forehead to clean off any dirt, residue, or oil from my forehead. Then I'll be grabbing scalp protector from Walker Tape. I'm going to apply that to my scalp. I'm going to allow that to air dry, and then I'm grabbing the wig, placing it on my head, lining up the air tabs as well as the combs. So the hairline of this frontal wig is more of a square shape. My hairline is lower and it's more rounded. So because of that, I know that I'm going to have to add some baby hairs where you see my hairline exposed. So now I'm gonna grab a pair of scissors. I'm gonna cut two slices in the extra lace. I'm going to pin the left and the right portions of the extra lace out of my face. Then I'm gonna focus on the middle section. I'm grabbing Got To Be Ultra Glue Gel in the black container and I'm going to apply a very thin layer to the center portion. Then I'm gonna grab my blow dryer and blow dry it until it's tacky. I'm going to follow those directions for the left and right portions of this wig and then I'll put my headscarf on and allow it to set for 15 minutes and I'll be right back. Fifteen minutes later, it's time to cut off the extra lace. Here's the finished look. I did decide to do a ponytail later on in the video. So if you're interested in seeing how that turned out, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. Before you leave, give this video a thumbs up and I'll have all of the information, the promo codes and direct links to the wig worn in this video down below in the description box. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below and I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. Ay, ay, ay.